Good morning to two of our earliest risers. Josh is already out doing chores. Do you both sleep well? Hi. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Good. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good. Hello everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Uh, today we've got, looks like a beautiful day, but we're supposed to have about 12 hours of thunderstorms and rain coming later this afternoon. So this project here behind me, the rainwater catchment that broke, uh, needs to be fixed before the rain. Hopefully the guys can get that done. That's our top priority for today. Uh, there's also a lot of scaffolding behind me. You'll notice that's for a project that's coming after the rain and that's going to be uh, we've hired some people to stucco all around our tank tower um, so that that will be a protected area that rodents can't get into anymore and it'll last a lot longer than the wood that was around it originally but before we get to the project we've got breakfast and chores to do uh, so i'm going to head back in and finish up breakfast and stay tuned to the end of the video please we have a new critter on the homestead that i think nate's going to tell you about <laughs> Are you helping with chores again? Yeah. <laughs> Is she a help at all? She tries to be. <laughs> Scrambled eggs with kale. Yep. And we'll have some oatmeal as well. Okay, so what happened with our rainwater catchment system is that this is the pipe right here that this has to fill up with water as it goes down then there's down there there's a valve when that valve is turned off this actually fills up with water then it fills up and then it overflows into the tank up there so this was full and then it froze we did not empty this out when a freeze came so this busted this busted here and here and just all kinds of places all through here so we're gonna have to cut all of this out and redo it <laughs> okay you should be able to rest that now john All right, Nate, so when you're joining 290s, when you really want to join them something like this, or something like this, right? Kind of put them together like this and then just get a measurement here. So you know your your piece in between, is, it's not really called a coupling, but it does, it couples them together. <clears throat> so you need at least a four inch piece. So we know that we need two of those right yes two. Okay. so we need two of them that are going to come together come right together this one here and that one there like that remember to push it against it have it pushed against yeah it's always your stabilizer Deal. There we go. 
strip on daddy. <laughs> How's that back there? I can't really see back there. Right. I know. I just... Well, no, the color stays. A little bit. Yeah. Still. Since we have our angles all set, oh, put a, put a little, little tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark. So you can line those up. And then do it in another spot. You always do it in at least two spots. So then all the ticks need to, need to match up. And then you know. What were we trying to line up with? We want to try to be closest as possible, right? See, we already have one time. We already have one time. It's okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. 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 Hold him, hold him good, Nate. Go ahead. Well, it's done. I'm so thankful. Now if the weather report is right and we end up getting 12 hours straight of rain, we'll be ready for it. Hopefully our root cellar won't flood again. Uh, so many of you may have already guessed who the newest addition to the homestead is. You may have heard him in the background. We'll introduce you to him now. So, Nadie, who's our newest addition to the homestead? Uh, Miss Tom Tricky here. Mr. Tom at last. We've tried two times to get a tom and they ended up being hens. This time we decided to get a full grown tom so there would be no mistake. <laughs> and we've had so much fun watching him this week. Such an interesting creature. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. He's already been busy doing his job. <laughs> he makes such fascinating noises. Is she the most gentle one? On um, this one and her, her right there. They're the two oh, the, original ones. The two originals? Yeah. Cool. That's so fun that you can just pet them. <laughs> so these are actually a heritage breed of turkey called Blue Slate. So it's partly why it took us so long to get a tom. They're, they're just a little bit harder to find. But we did finally find one. And he looks really healthy and um, just really happy to have a Tom at last. 
they've pretty much outgrown their temporary tiny house so Nady has plans to build them a big turkey teepee <laughs> so hopefully he'll be able to get started on that here pretty soon Now Esther's inside making us some lunch, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time out here in the greenhouse doing some up potting. A lot of the lettuce and brassicas are ready to be um, put into a little bit larger containers, so I'm going to try and do that. Oh, and good news! Our Berkeley compost heap is finally starting to heat up, so I'm really excited to see the temperature going up on that pile. I'm looking forward to when we can start rotating that and hopefully we're going to make some more piles to help us out with our need for compost because it's getting really close to time to get these in the ground so looking forward to that well that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching thank you also to our patrons who help make these videos possible and until next time we pray blessings over you and yours and whatever you do do it with your whole heart